Hey guys, what is going on? This is Jack Attack 45 bringing you another World of Tanks video today. This is going to be an Object 140 replay from Mr. Coldius. He is the creator of QSF EU and he actually helped me figure out all of my recording settings and uh, I figured I'd hook him up with an awesome commentary over his Object 140 gameplay. And originally, I was like, Claudius, you gotta send me a replay. He's like, well, I do have this one. And I looked at it and I was like, that'll do. That'll do. So you guys will see uh, some awesome gameplay from Claudius in his Object 140, along with Arius in his bat chat. And they are gonna be taking an aggressive early spot up on this hill. And one really, really nice thing to do in um, a scout tank like this on this map, Arctic region. Uh, pull that up for you really quick let you look at the chance to win talk about the team set up here in a second But one really aggressive spot to get in as a scout is right here You can actually scout every heavy going down to the heavy corner on That eastern flank so very very nice play from that WZ 132 allowing um, Arius and Clodius to get those aggressive early shots off now they are going to be getting spotted here. Um, Arius actually takes one shot and then takes another tracking shot, but he is actually in cover, so he is fine. Uh, Claudius is going to be continuing to use that extra degree of gun depression you get on the Object 140, uh, putting, putting the gun to work, and Arius is going to be using that autoloader on the Bachat. Bachat. <laughs> but um, Object 140, really quick rundown. One of the tanks that I want to get, uh, definitely going to be one of my first two tier 10s. Um, I'm, on, I'm on the Object 416 right now, and uh, I'm loving that gun. Very, very similar to this gun. Obviously, this gun has a lot more penetration. Let's just go over and look at the gun stats really quick. 264 pen with 320 average damage on this 100 millimeter. And uh, this Object 140, like most tier 10s, does come with the default APCR uh, armor. Or, sorry. Ammo loadout, what am I talking about, armor? But uh, what I like about the Object 140, very, very fast, great turret, extra degree of gun depression over its uh, very very similar tier 10 Russian um, medium, the T-62A. Uh, T-62A does only have 5 degrees of gun depression, the Object 140 gets an extra degree of gun depression. Very, very good upper front plate, um, very bouncy uh, armor, so awesome awesome overall tank very very well rounded very very well balanced can basically do anything you want it can brawl it can snipe um, very very good dpm this tank actually has 2.9k dpm and as you can see with 320 alpha on a 5.6 second reload it is going to be hitting hard and hitting fast so we are going to be looking at uh, what's going on here and like i said check out the team setups 45 percent chance to win uh the enemy team does have a very very good platoon t57 heavy t62a and waffentrager e100 are a very good combination so we're gonna have to be watching out for that and uh, as you can see claudius is over here defending the western flank and he is putting some good shots not really sure how that one didn't land but he's actually spotted right now and uh, there is lots of mediums over here, and this is this is kind of the area where the mediums kind of stall it out. And if you lose this flank, um, the mediums will rush around, try to take your base, and uh, flank your heavy. So you ha definitely have to have a few tanks over here on this western flank to hold on Arctic region. And as you can see here, the 5100, or sorry, the Lorraine 30 ton taking a shot from Clodius. But there is a lot of tanks over there. They were not spotted, but there are. A lot of them so he has to watch out gonna be side scraping around this rock and this is a very good spot to hold the enemy team because he has about uh, I'd say about 250 meters in front of him where he has a good open space where he can uh, put shots into them as they rush across and the problem with this flank now is though that all he has are him and an IS-7 and uh, Arius is still up there trying to snipe off the top of the ridge but um, Clodius is actually gonna say bye bye IS-7 Nice to know you, but we gotta we gotta set up a better defensive position back here, because there is a WZ one three one trying to flank around, um, getting spotted though. Not really sure what he's doing. He's kind of just hanging out. Uh, he can't really do much. He can't really push around that corner because the FB one eight three is is holding that corner. So there goes the IS seven. Kind of figured that was gonna happen, but uh, Claudius is now left in a very precarious situation. He does have a Patton coming right at him. Uh, it's T62A, Lorraine 40 ton, T57 heavy, Bat Chat, and this is gonna be interesting. Now, one of the one of the things that I really like about this position, though, guys, is that you can go hold down right here. I really, really like this position. Very, very hard to dig people out of this position if they have a decent turret or they have a medium like this that is very hard hitting, fast firing. And uh, so, if the enemy team does not rush, 
um, he can just sit here all day and, you know, bounce everything off his turret. So very, very nice position to be in right now. Coldis is actually going to back off a little bit and uh, fall back to his 183 and his bat chat, which is a very good idea. The 183 people are very, very scared of that massive alpha. That massive, massive 183 shell that that thing fires. And I would be scared too if I could get one shot in pretty much any of my tanks. But we're actually going to see. I don't really know why they aren't pushing. I figured that at this point they would push. Um, because, like I said, there's only him and the 183 here right now. And I don't know if they know that. I think they do. I think they're just trying to scout and figure it out. But I don't think they figured it out yet, which is very, very lucky for Clodius because he is actually um, putting that gun to work and, you know, slowly but surely doing some good damage. Ooh, big shot there into the T62A from the 183. Now, that is exactly why they do not want to come around that corner. They know that 183 is there. But if this team was coordinated they would know as soon as that 183 fired they would have to go if they all went right now they could kill that 183 before he reloaded and they could probably take out Clodius but they're actually stalling it out right now and it looks like on the other flank their heavies are holding so maybe that's what they're thinking if we can hold on the other flank um, we can just stall these guys out and wait for them to push around but if it was me I definitely would have tried to get my team to push around that corner and now they're just letting the 183 reload and that 40 ton is gone. That was only a 380 roll. But now they're pushing. There you go. See, that's what I would have done the first time. So very, very good push from the enemy team. Taking out that 183, no problem. That bad chat is very, very low. Bounces a shot. Clodius bounces a shot. Very good play from him. He's in a very, very good spot to hold these guys off. Even though he's outnumbered right now, very, very good spot. He can use his turret, use his quick reload, and this T-57 Heavy cannot push up there because he knows that he's going to take a lot of damage. We actually see there is nice snipe on the T-62A there, finishing him off. He didn't have much hit points left, but very, very good play from Clodius to see that and finish him off. And then we go. He is pushing around, got the T-57 Heavy. Very, very nice play again, and he knows this Patton is on reload. Nice juke there. Perfect track. Very, very good play there tracks him in the spot and i think this patent is kind of screwed right now very good very good turret traverse on this patent though and uh, he's actually keeping up but very good circle by clodius uh that 5.69 reload is keeping him tracked Ooh, unlucky bounce there he's actually shooting heat now because he loads a lot of heat on his object 140 but great play so he that just shows you the dpm he was at about 1200 damage before they came around that corner he's now done an extra 1400 he's at 2.6 k damage which is not too bad at all. He actually did 1,400 damage just to that patent throughout the battle so far. But now he is left in a 2v5. Now, obviously, the eastern flank got absolutely destroyed. I mean, you know, what can you expect? So Clodius is actually going to push out a little bit. I don't know about this play. I think... Uh, in this situation, if he can spot for his artillery, I guess he does want to protect his artillery. I didn't realize that his artillery was that far out there. Um, kind of wants to use his artillery to... Nice shot by the artillery there, finishing off the E100. But in this situation, I think that I would want to control um, the more ridgeline position. But I guess since he, know, since he does know that they're going to be coming around this corner and he can spot them right away, um, I think this is also a pretty good play. I mean, either spot would work pretty well. Uh, this spot is just a little bit more vulnerable because, oh, and the Waffen Trigger E100 is behind him. So that is one of the downsides of this spot. You cannot, oh no, you can, you can be flanked very, very easily from this spot. So he only has 790 hit points, and we all know the Waffen Trigger E100 is what? Oh, the high explosive shell. Great play from Clodius there. I was going to say, I thought he had a little bit more health, but very, very good shot. From, uh, yeah, and the, the Waffen Traeger's like, what? And, uh, of course, Clodius is calmly saying, HE, very, very good play from him. I did not even see him switch to that HE. Nice shot from him, finishing off the Waffen Traeger. So, the Waffen Traeger was the only tank that was coming around that flank. Um, everybody else should be around the east, and now Claudius is actually going to pull back, and I think he'll probably go up onto that hill, unless he's going to go around on the north, which is also, you know, quite possible. The only thing that I would do in this situation is, is I would try to get some high ground to look over the cap, but he's actually going to back off, go over to the far western area of this map, and, ooh, very good play, using that uh, turret going hole down behind this nice little, uh, kind of uh, ridge here and that is one of the reasons why 
uh, the six degrees of gun depression is very, very strong. Uh, very good play from Clodius here. He's uh, getting into a spot, and there still is the enemy bat shed artillery, so he's got to watch out for that. Only a tier 9, so it's not the auto loader, but still, uh, very, very uh, scary artillery to be going against. So Clodius is actually going down into the gully here and uh, using this road. Obviously, T62, or not T62, a Object 140 is very quick and uh, able to use pretty much anywhere on the map because of its speed. And uh, one of the definitely the big factors why uh, people choose Russian mediums, the speed, the quickness, and the ability to move around the map. So very, very interesting move here. I've never seen anybody drive all the way down around there, but very, very good play because he's giving himself a little bit of distance and he's allowing himself to come up at a different angle. The IS-7 thinks that he is still going to be sitting behind that ridge over there. He thinks he's going to be over here, coming at him from a different angle. Very, very good idea. And also, this spot is a lot stronger because there's a lot more hard cover over here as well. So, a lot more artillery cover over here, allowing him to get out of that fire of the bat chat. And he wants to avoid the bat chat at all costs. The bat chat is really the only thing that can one-shot him. So, perfect play. The IS-7 still thinks that he is over there. Great, great medium play there. And he is going to get back into artillery cover. So, the IS-7 is down. All we have left is an IS-8 and a Batchat uh, artillery. So the Batchat artillery does have three kills. Very, very good player, very experienced player with 22k games, but Clodius is not, well, I'm sure he's feeling the pressure right now, but he is calm and collected right now. Six kills, he's done 3.4k damage, not too shabby there at all. And he's only taken, uh, let's see, he's down to 800 hit points. He's only taken about 1,100 hit points, so not too bad. And the IS-8 is actually very, very low. Oh, and he bounces the heat shell. I don't know. I, I think I would have aimed that one a little bit more just because the IS-8 was not looking at him. But he does not want to stay uh, put too long because of that artillery, obviously. The only thing that can kill him right now, like I said, is the artillery. I think he is going to rush the IS-8. He does have HE loaded this time. Uh, the IS-8 was on 18 hit points, so he should be able to figure him off, figure, finish him off. No problem. He's going to come around this corner. IS-8 is not that well, quick, but not that quick. He cannot get away from an Object 140. And a uh, nice little shot there to finish him off. He's going to stay safe from the artillery, drive up this ridge. And he has 7 kills, 3.4k damage. And, of course, the Bat Chat is the only tank left. He does have 790 hit points left. So unless the Bat Chat scores a penetrating shot, he should be fine. And uh, this is perfect medium play, guys. You know, going one way, making your enemy think that you're over there, and then going driving down through the goalie that was a perfect play against the is7 is7 didn't even have his turret pointed anywhere near where he thought and those those are the mind games you have to play with mediums like this if they give if tanks allow you the mobility you use the mobility and you exploit it to the fullest and that is what textbook example of what Claudius did there and because of that he's actually going to pick up the eighth kill and the radley walters here coming up very very quickly so object 140 awesome awesome tier 10 tank i'm definitely going to be looking to uh, get that and then bat chat cannot spot him from here he's going to be reloading here in about two seconds and he's going to finish him off so claudius finishes with 3.9k damage let me pull up the score screen here and as you can see claudius that was his mastery badge radley walters of course top gun oh my goodness he is he just made so many plays there. Actually hit 25 out of 30 shots for an 83% uh, hit rate. And let's see how many of those penned. Out of those 25 shots that hit, 18 of them penned. So nice nice accuracy there at 83%. 3.8k damage, 2.7k spawning damage. Obviously he ended up killing those 8 tanks. And guys, this is just textbook medium play right there. Awesome, awesome to see. And he actually finished with 1,400 experience. Did not finish top on damage, but that is A-OK -okay because he had <laughs> over half the kills on his team. So very good play from Clodius. I really enjoyed watching that replay. He did end up losing 30K, but that's because he had to fire so many heat rounds at the end. Awesome, awesome to watch. Great Great replay. Thank you for sending it in, Claudius. And I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to drop a like down below. If you'd like to see any specific tanks on replays, I'm thinking about doing a 183 replay just because that thing is so hilariously um, good. Yeah. So, guys, I hope you did enjoy it. This has been Jack Attack 45 signing out. Peace.